Guys, we're back with Aaron's Urban Exploring. Uh, we've just come back. If you already know what this is, uh, yeah, there's no need for an introduction, but we have returned for the odd stone building, which is on the grounds of the demolished mansion. Um, there's been work, a lot of work been going on recently since the last time I was here, so I'm not sure if I can get in, but it's definitely worth a try, so I'll uh, hopefully see you on the inside. Peace out, guys. Hi, guys. Uh, literally, just had to um, padlock my bike to a tree because there's no way in because they fenced off the whole perimeter literally all the way around with green fencing so I've had to wrap my bike up, jump over and I'm going to have to get a quick video in case workers are still on because it's only quarter past three and there is a building site over there working on the full sites of this area making it into something new so we'll have to be quick um, yeah we'll just make our way to the Oddstone building and get a quick video for you guys uh, just for the ones who have not seen it really and it was one of my favourites and I do want to get it all on video again in case they do fucking in case they do knock it down so yeah let's get to it so yeah if you remember the last one me and Dopey Stoner we actually started on the other side all the way about half a mile on the other side of this perimeter and we've worked our way to the Oddstone building which we actually didn't come for we came for the anti-aircraft bunker which is over that way but we did find this first and it was pretty intriguing so we'll just make our way to it keep an eye out for any builders or anything like that um, don't forget, this is the grounds of the demolished mansion, which was demolished in the 1960s after the World War. Um, we know that soldiers occupied the building last for the Red Cross. Um, hospital for hospital, the Red Cross. So. Yeah, we do know it was for the Red Cross. So there were probably nurses, soldiers and whatnot occupying the grounds beforehand. And as you can see here guys, the tracks of the diggers what have been going up and down. There's been a lot of work recently and I know that they're building a new lake, cafe and everything else representing the old hall, what we used to be here. So Look where they're reviving a bit of history, which uh, Bolton Council should learn a bit of. 
to be honest. But yeah, I'll uh, show you the lakes when I get to them. Right, guys, this is the old lake bed. As you can see, it's all mated down, and this is the end of it. As you can see here, uh, some old railings which would have uh, gone around the perimeter. I don't know how old they are. Could they have dated back to the days of the uh, hog? I don't know. Anyone else know in the comments section? Just let me know. But there's the old fence line to the lake. And I'm just gonna jump in the lake here. You can just see the scale. This is auto work. So these trees wasn't even here at one time. And we even have an island in the middle here of the work. Yeah, there's the island. And you can see the perimeter of the work going all the way up there all the way around comes into like a, a small kind of like a canal but god area if you know what i mean comes in tight under a bridge what was once here and we'll just get a closer look at that for you guys this is all old history which has probably been forgotten about in this area well, uh, there's the, the weight wall. And it's truly incredible because we don't even think that this was all here. So check this, guys. The old bridge must have gone across the whole bit of the lake to the other side over there. But yeah. Just a bit of history there for you guys. And I'll just make it round the corner and we'll show you the rest. Alright guys, we just got to the Oddstone building and literally it's all fenced off and they've dug they've dug it all out. Wow guys. Literally I'm going to have to try and get to the other side, to the odd stone building, which is fenced off. So hopefully they're keeping that as the heritage. But yeah, diggers and everything over there. I'll give you a closer look. If you would have seen last time, none of this looks like that. They've redug the lake straight out. And they're actually redoing some kind of damn thing here. But as you can see over there guys, I'll zoom in. There is the Oddstone building entrance and it's behind all the fencing. So I'm just going to have a quick, quick uh, jump over, see if I can get to it there guys. I'll see you on the other side. Check that guys. Remnants of the other side of the bridge. Look at that, there's an old bridge that. Try and get over this way. Got through before being dope is down. And I am being quiet because there's loads of um, workers still working. But I think I have made it to the other side where the stone building is. It's just getting over the fences without being seen basically. We've done it guys. That's all the way around the work. Well, check that. Hopefully they are keeping this beautiful old architecture as it is. Just check that out guys. Can't beat that. Diggers over there. 
lights up. Nobody's about it. But check that, guys. The odd store building. Yeah. I'll give you a bit of history about the grounds here. Um, and then I'll jump in and get a quick video inside as fast as I can because I do want to get on top and show you all the way around it but once I do that I'll probably be open to being seen so I'll get the um, history out of the way first guys and then uh, I'll show you inside Alright guys um, yeah the history on this place is uh, very interesting, there's a lot of history going on here. Um, as I say, the old Great Hall, what was on here, got demolished in the 1960s. Um, the anti aircraft bunker was built in the late 60s, um, was used for a little while. Um, changed over to a lot, a lot of other things like um, a gun club used to own it, then the fire brigade used to own it um, and they used to actually use water from down here to Black Leach uh, I think there's a line that runs all the way up I think from Black Leach to down here so that was probably all built at the same time as the hall just in case of any emergencies of fires or anything. I could imagine so anyway. Um, yeah. Queen Victoria once came to the Great Hall, which is just on the other side of the lake. She planted two oak trees back in the 1700s. Um, I've not yet found the oak trees, so I don't know if they've su survived. I know one didn't survive, um, which some princess can't remember her name now, some princess planted at the same time. Hers died, it was an American red oak tree that didn't survive. Queen Victoria planted an English oak tree. Um, but yeah, it'd be good to find that, give you a bit of history and uh, the evidence to back it up really. Um, yeah, and the rest, there's just loads of old barns demolished on here. Yeah, there's just that much history, it's hard to piece in, like, Imagine the timeline when things were set and just piecing the history together. So what I like to do is get you the video, a bit of history, and uh, maybe you guys at home can link up the history and uh, yeah, add in the comments. We can get the history that way. Um, just gives us a more insight of the true history of places if we all work together. But I'm gonna try and make it inside now, guys. I think I'll just give you a quick video on top, go all over the place, shoot it, shoot the inside, and I'm out. Go and get my bike in case someone tries robbing it. It is chained up, but they can get my wheels off. Uh, let's do this, guys. Let's do it. Let's do this, guys. I can actually hear dumpers and everything. Um, we have got an open spot here, which I'm trying not to be seen getting in. So I took me a high vis jumper off because I've always just finished work myself and got straight to here before uh, any security guards come on after people finish work. I am in guys, the odd storm building, oh no, more of it's been, f more of it's been uh, knocked over guys, that means, I hope, I hope they're not knocking it down, but there's the entrance with the mad, um, The mad entrance looks like a hobbit's house from Lord of the Rings. But check this out, guys. The weirdest thing I have ever found. 
probably the oldest thing I've ever found, to be honest. A lot of history. I don't know if someone vandalised that, guys, and that's why the fence is up, or they're planning on knocking it down, which I uh, think they might be planning it on knocking down, to be honest. Otherwise, they wouldn't have fenced it off. So, this is probably the last video of this you're going to see. So, I'm pretty glad I found it in the first place, guys. But, what a great thing to find. Which I found, uh, must have been about six months ago now. But I did lose my last page. So, I thought I'd get a new one. Find a new page. Just just so I've got the video but yeah this is uh, pretty much it guys that's the weird shaped entrance I'll just get through and this is the Hobbit entrance which I will have to dig um, some old photos up to go in the video as I can't get any through the fence any decent ones anywhere but yeah just explore in here it's just weird tunnels look at that guys when you come across something like this it's so ancient I know a lot of people say they find ancient stuff in the videos but Come on, don't get much here. Better than that. This looks like a very, very, very old lake house to me. You know, somewhere to chill near the lake back in the days. Obviously, we'd have a big, massive wooden shed these days, but this is probably what they had 16, 1700s. I reckon it could have been 1600s as the first hall was built. Cause don't forget there was two halls. One got demolished and then there was a new one which made it the great new hall. Which that is the latest one what got demolished again in the 1960s. So one's the 1600s and one's 1700s. So I'm guessing this could have been the 1600s one. Just looking at the brickwork. A one. Makes me think that, but I can hear workers still. We'll just get you the owls first, which I uh, call it. It just looks like owl eyes, proper spooky place. For anyone who likes paranormal, just hope this is still here for you when they finish doing all the work. Or you could simply get in like I have. But there's some old steps. I would have come onto the top. Very old steps. And there's me just peeking on top as I go further up. I could hear still sort, so I've got the turf with you guys. Get this last bit done. Here's the old concrete roof. And because it's uh, autumn, there was like some nice little brickwork going along here. Can't see it proper because of the leaves. Just look at that. Don't get all the holes that are in it. Yeah. Attempt to stand on this. But here's the doorway, here's the big door. And this is the old stone building, guys. Take a look on top. And I think I'm gonna get this last bit on this side and call it a day. But here yeah, she is. Odd stone building dating back from the 1600s, probably. 
just as old as that, I think. But for something so small, you can't pack any more history to this place. If you have a look on Worsley Hall, Worsley New Hall, and check up the history of what was on the grounds of this place, and you'll be surprised. But be noted that they are doing the full place up, because when we first came to do this video six months ago, they hadn't got to this part of the site yet. The site is all the way over there on the main road coming off, um, I think it's Lee Road. And as I say, they're building a cafe, they're redoing the lake. Um, yeah, they've got loads of things going on. So if you look up any of that in the future dates, this will be one to take your kids to for your days out, I would imagine. So anyway, they'll have a cafe on site and everything else you need. Mm, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And I'll, uh, I'll see you on the next one, guys. Hope you enjoyed the Dad Stone building revisited. I'm pretty glad I've come because um, it might actually get knocked down looking at the fencing being round it. So hope, I hope everyone enjoyed it and remembers the history to this place. I'll just have a quick walk round. Just give you a last glimpse of it. But yeah, very old. And the people who remember my last channel, my early subscribers, will remember this one very well, as it did well this video. Um, but yeah. If you like my videos, if you like the history, let me know in the comments on my YouTube. Don't hesitate to get engaged on the comments. Build a community for yourselves and all the history and hit exploring will keep on going as it is doing peace out guys i'll see you next time Hi right, guys, we're back with Aaron's Urban Exploring. Uh, just come back. If you already know what this is. Uh, yeah, 